Hey everyone, here's a question on angles. The question is, the two complementary angles are in the ratio 7 is to 2, find the angles. Now, what are complementary angles? So, if you have learned this, there are two different types of angle. One is complementary and one is supplementary. Complementary means when you add two angles, right? When you add two angles, the sum should be equal to 90 degree. For example, I'm just taking a random example here. Suppose I have taken 30 degree and 60 degree. Then we can say that 30 and 60 are complementary because 30 plus 60 is 90 degree. Got? Now like that, these two complementary angles are in a ratio 7 is to 2. So they have not given the angles, but instead they have given the ratio. And then we have to find out the angles. Now how to solve this? Remember, whenever they have given in the ratios, and you might have learned the ratio chapter, or if you have not learned, that's okay. Ratios are always given in a reduced form. Means, after cancelling it, they have brought it to the reduced form. Now, if you didn't understand what is reduced form, let me explain here. Suppose I have a number like 3 by 6. Okay. Now, 3 by 6 is not reduced. Means, I can cancel 3 by 6 more further. Like, if I cancel this, 3 ones are 3, 2s are 6. So, what I got here? 1 by 2. Now, can I cancel 1 by 2 more further? No. So, 1 by 2 is in reduced form. Got it? If I write down this in a ratio, it will be 1 is to 2. Like that, 7 is to 2 is in reduced form. So, uh, 7 by 2 is not an actual number, but it is in reduced form. So, that is why we are going to take a variable here. So, whenever they have given in a ratio, so assume a variable. Uh, and uh, you can just take a variable x here and you can write down the ratio x, 7x and 2x. I hope it is clear why I am taking, taking a variable here. Because there could be some number with which we can cancel this number. We could have cancelled this number. Okay, That is why we are taking a x here. So, let the angles be. Uh, let me start the solution here. So, let the complementary angles be. complementary angles be 7x and 2x right now like I said before complementary angle sum when you add these two angles the sum should be equal to 90 degree so here we have assumed the angles to be 7x and 2x so if I add this two it should be equal to 90 degree so 7x plus 2x should be equal to 90 degree. Now let's add this. So 7 plus 2 is 9. So 9x is equal to 90 degree. Now I want the only value of x. I don't want this 9 here. I'm going to transpose 9 to the other side. Now 9 is in multiplication, right? So when you transpose, it's going to come in division. So divide by 9. So cancel the numbers. 9 ones are 9 tens are 90. So therefore, I got x value is equal to 10. Now, this is only x value. Now, we have to find out the angles. Now, the first angle was 7x, right? So, 7x will be equal to, it's 7 into 10, which is equal to 70 degree. And the next, we have a 2x. So, it will be 2 into 10, which will be equal to 20 degree. Now, you can cross-check your answer. You can add 70 and 20. And you can see that you'll get 90 degree, which means your answer is correct here. So, therefore, complementary angles are complementary angles are 70 degree and second one is 20 degree so if you if they give you different ratio that's okay but you have to proceed the same method to get the answer now in case you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching